clearly I have a lot of dark spots. Regardless of what state or condition your skin is in, you can still do the clean girl, no makeup makeup aesthetic. The goal here is to make sure that the most distracting areas of your face are blended out. The rest of your skin can still remain bare. The first thing I always start off with is a little bit of primer. My favorite primer is the MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus, and I go ahead and spray that on my face. Not only does this hydrate your skin, but it creates a barrier between your skin and your makeup and allows it to grip and adhere onto your skin a lot better. I have combination skin, which is sometimes quite oily, and I don't want the shine to be everywhere, so I'm taking some translucent powder. This is the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder in Medium Deep, and I'm putting that all over my face. So just take a powder puff like this, and tap it wherever you normally get shiny. I do, of course, love beautiful dew to my skin. I don't really like mattifying makeup, but I find that because of the products that I'm using afterwards are quite beautiful, like silky and hydrating, I don't end up with a complete matte skin, um, but this is just how I prep my skin. I learned this years ago from Jackie Ina, and I've been doing it ever since. The next thing I would advise to do is examine your skin. Most people will find that the majority of acne that we have, especially if it's hormonal of acne or cystic acne is right here on the cheeks and maybe a tiny bit on the perimeter of the forehead but majority of it is right around your cheeks now your cheeks are the fattier area of your face so they can handle a lot more coverage versus around your eyes your nose your crease lines you don't really want to put very much there at all for me this is my cheeks this is where i have the most of my pigmentation and around my mouth i'm taking the house labs triclone foundation this is in the shade uh 480 medium deep neutral right now it is one of my favorite foundations i've been reaching for for this so freaking much it just leaves your skin looking so beautiful and glowy and let me show you all i use for my entire face is a pump just a pump not even a full pump just that that's it i'm going to take a spatula i'm going to smooth this down onto my face just like that creating a very light sheer layer of this foundation only where my skin needs it. see how i didn't go around my eyes i didn't go here by my mouth just here where it needs to be. First of all, can we look at the shade match? It's gorgeous. I'm also gonna put some around my mouth because I've got some darkness here that I want to blend out. Now I'm gonna blend this out with the foundation brush. This is the House Labs foundation brush and I'm going to blend this into my skin. I'm just pressing it in, stippling this product here on my skin and I am pretty much just allowing the brush to do all of the work. But do you see how even my skin tone already looks just by doing that? With my forehead, I don't really have too much of a problem leaving that bare. Most times I do. I just want the color overall to be balanced, which is why I'm just wiping whatever is left on this brush on my forehead. From here, you'll want to add a little bit of dimension. So I'm using the Makeup by Mario Soft Sculpt Shaping Stick in the shade Deep and Dark. And we're gonna put this on the contours of our face. So right here at the top of my ear, this is just how I contour my face, but it depends on the shape of your face. I'm just gonna do that. I'm gonna go in with that same brush, which is one of the reasons why I love this is because you can use it for everything. And I'm gonna tap the product in that I just applied. That's one of the reasons why I don't put a lot of makeup on my forehead because as I'm contouring, that's adding coverage anyways. So it doesn't really need much of a foundation. Next, we're adding a tiny bit of concealer. This is the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Concealer in the shade Cappuccino. And I'm just putting the, is it focusing? There we go. And I'm just putting this on the center of my face. I do have a little bit of darkness around my eyes, but I tend to leave it alone because it just looks like this really nice gradient. It almost looks as though I'm wearing a natural smoky eye. So I just kind of leave it alone. I'm taking the concealer right in the inner portions of my face, right here, right here, my forehead, and a little bit on my chin. Now we're gonna take that same spatula and sheer out the product. So there you go. This time I'm taking a beauty blender and I'm going to press it into the skin. But do you see how much coverage that's giving me because I'm spreading out the product before blending it? Whatever's left in the sponge, I go up towards the eye, but that's not the focus of my blending. What I would also recommend, of course, is to work in sections. So right after you blend it out, you're gonna go in with some setting powder. This is the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter in the shade Hazelnut. Tap, 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 
get rid of any creases and go straight in with your powder. Okay, just kind of top it there. And you might as well just set these areas too, and that's gonna prevent any type of shine that you don't need on your forehead <laughs> or your chin. Less than a pump of foundation, tiny dot of concealer, and just a little bit of a contour. For my brows, I'm using the NYX Professional Makeup Micro Brow Pencil in the shade Espresso. This is like my favorite brow pencil. I've used it for so many years and I just keep repurchasing new ones. I think I actually am going to need to restock this quite soon because I only have one left, but <laughs> it's my favorite. So what I do is I'm just going to brush up my brows. I'm not using any brow setting gel or anything like that. I would like to try a few, but you know, it is what it is. I'm just going ahead and filling in these sparse areas of my brow wherever. There's not a lot of hair pretty much. My hairs are quite thin, so they're quite sparse. So it's just filling in wherever it needs it. And another thing I'll recommend when you're doing your brows, try to look at your mirror from afar. Do not go too close to the mirror. The reason being is because sometimes when you go too close to your brows, it may look great at like 10X macro zoom. When you zoom out, you'll find that it's usually a little bit too dark or it's a little bit too defined because you're not looking at your entire face, you're looking at just the brow. And I don't know about you, but my brows are definitely sisters, they are not twins. So in order for them to look more similar, I need to see my entire face. Once I like the way that my brows are filled in, I'm just gonna go in with a little bit of concealer. This is the Make No Mistake Concealer from Sephora in the shade uh, Clove. I do think this one is discontinued, but I have an entire tube, but I'm not gonna just like throw it away and stop using it because it was discontinued at Sephora. Okay, just going with a tiny, tiny bit of concealer, just dabbing it under my brow, and I'm gonna use this to carve it out. It's gonna make it look like I just got a nice brow wax, even though I didn't, and I need to do a wax very soon, but you know, anybody got time for that? I do wanna add a little bit of extra warmth to the skin, so I'm using the MAC uh, Skin Finish. This is the shade Richer Rosy, and this is their matte collection. And I'm going to dab that right on top of that contour that I did before, and this will give it a little bit, a little bit extra warmth. Sometimes I just use the powder and not the actual contour, but sometimes I wanna do both. I think it's very important to add a little bit of glow to the skin, so I'm using the MAC Rosy Does It, their Glow Play Blush, which I use pretty much every single time I do my face. And I'm just going to tap that in. This is the Morphe G4 brush. And lightly spread that. Once again, this is gonna add a little bit of glow to the skin, because remember how we mattified the skin a little bit? It's gonna add a tiny bit of glow. When you're doing your blush, don't only apply it to your cheeks. You can apply it to your nose, a little bit on the tip of your forehead, because if you were to get sun-kissed, you'd have a little bit of redness right here, and then a little bit on your chin. That's how you get a sun-kissed glow. If you're doing clean girl, you need a little bit of a glow. This is the Fenty Beauty Matchstick in the shade Rum, and I'm just putting it on my finger and then tapping it into the skin. This is gonna warm up the product and make sure that it blends in nicely without giving me any type of like weird finish. So just use your fingers. Fingers are always recommended. Lately, I've been skipping eyeliner and just going into mascara. I'm using the MAC Stack Micro Brush Mascara. I'm gonna put that on our lashes. I've been using a lash growth serum, so I've been very, very happy with my lashes lately. The one I'm using is one from The Ordinary. And that's one of the reasons why I haven't been wearing liner, so that my lashes can shine through on their own. Last but not least, I'm gonna add a little bit of a nude lip. This is the Naturium Phyto Glow Lip Balm. This is their new cafe collection. This is the shade Spice. I have been loving this. I love that it's not too sticky, and it just actually makes your lips feel moisturized. This is like actually a nude that looks nude on dark skin, I love it. We didn't cover up every single dark spot. There's still dark spots here on my chin. There's still dark spots here on my face. They're still peeking through. When you look at the face as a complexion, it looks phenomenal. And it barely looks like I'm wearing anything at all. And there we have it. This is Clean Girl Makeup on Dark Spots in Acne. So that's the end of the video. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. 
Leave a comment down below and let me know what are your favorite tips for clean girl makeup on dark spots. I would love to hear your thoughts. As always, click over here to see some of my previous videos. And remember to stay gorgeous, stay fabulous, and I'll see you later, ladies and gents, in the next one.